Okay, well it's Wednesday, 21st of June. It's uh, just come up to seven o'clock in the evening. I've come down to what I thought would be a you know, fairly quiet lake uh, with no problem of getting a swim, but uh, oh no, it's absolutely rammed. <laughs> so much so that I've got a choice of only two swims. One being this swim, which is uh, no carp corner. And the other being the uh, points, little point swim, which is over there, new point, which where you fish out into the bay. And that's about it, really. Um, um, and the thing is that uh, there has been there has been fish out, but they've all been coming out right up the other end of the lake. So yeah, I'm not too hopeful. But uh, you know, it's better than being at home. And uh, you know, if you're not here, you can't catch them. So uh, all the old cliches. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to uh, be. Uh, fishing this swim I think and I'm going to start by putting one down that margin and uh, and the other will probably be going out there um, there was a nice little spot out there last year that I found at uh, 25 wraps uh, and uh, just a, a light coloured bush um, yeah last bit of gravel there so uh, yeah I think that's where I'm going to put them and we'll uh, see what happens Okay, it's quarter past nine now. Uh, the sun has dipped below the horizon and uh, the heat of the day is definitely gone, so I've got a sweat top on. Um, I spent the hour and a half uh, that I was setting up just watching the water, looking for any sign at all, and I didn't see anything. Um, and in that time I had a good lead about as well. Um, the spot I was going to fish up the uh, right hand margin of the uh, light coloured bush, um, I couldn't find the gravel. Um, so it's either been covered over by silt or weed or whatever. Uh, so I gave up on that spot really, um, but uh, up the uh, left hand margin I did find a nice gravel uh, spot. Um, it's actually I'm actually fishing in the silt just the other side of it. So there's smooth silt and then there's a ridge of gravel and then there's a, a wee bed, Canadian, on top. So I'll drag some back. Uh, so I've just gone over the wee bed, over the gravel and into the smooth silt. And that's a 21 and a half wraps um, with half a dozen spuds. Um, and the right hand rod, because <coughs> I wasn't going to fish up that margin, I, I did have a really good lead about. I found a lot of weed uh, straight out in front, uh, so I'm, and I'm fishing just off to the uh, left of that where there's two tall spindly trees. It's uh, just in the clear off to the side of that weed bed. Uh, and uh, again, I put uh, half a dozen spots out there and spreaded them about a little bit, uh, some in the weed and some up off. So, uh, yeah. Um, not confident, as I, I think I said earlier. Um, I think I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, right now, though, because uh, it's getting off half nine and I've not eaten, I'm starving, so I'm going to have my dinner and then uh, settle down and uh, yeah, hopefully see you uh, at some point during the night. since five. I haven't had a very good night's sleep. Not a sight nor sound of a carp. Yeah. Not a bleep from the buzzers. Nothing. 
Well, that's what a bit of... Yeah. Finish his coffee and then uh, start a pack away. Well, I can't be disappointed because I uh, wasn't expecting much. Um, we'll see what the lake's like on uh, Friday. Okay, well it's less than 36 hours later on Friday the 23rd of June. It's uh, just come up to half five. Uh, I've come down to what is, you know, predictably a very busy lake. So I'm just having to walk around the day swims to see if I can find any fish on top. So I might do a bit of topping before I slot in the swim for a night. There's plenty of weed out there, but no fish. <laughs> no, nope, nothing. So, uh, yeah, try somewhere else. Just down there, one, two, a couple of them. Oh, another one over there, three. This one could be a possibility for the night, fishing over there, over this way. Well, that's something, I've seen a fish, or three. Right, let's have a look a bit further around. Well, there's always this swim uh, that I fished the, the other night. There's him, I can fish the same spots. Uh, I've effectively pre baited. Um, it was only, what, 48 hours ago, less than that, that I put the bait out at the beginning of that session. So, yeah, that's an option. Uh, what I'm going to do now, though, is walk this margin uh, and have a look in each of the uh, day swims, see if there's any fish on top, you know, with a view to getting the old floater rod out. Well, um, nothing seen along this bank, so uh, yeah, I've just got to make my mind up now whether I uh, fish uh, the new point swim over there in the bay or uh, this one that I fished the other night. I've made my mind up, it's uh, going to be this swim, I think. I've got to go with uh, the one where I've seen fish, so one rod is going to be going down in that corner. Um, a shame that there's a breeze on there actually, otherwise I would have put a few mixers out, but they're just going to get blown into the bank so, uh, sooner than I put them out. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll just uh, fish one in that corner and I'm going to fish one over, probably actually, probably about halfway. Yeah, in line with that tall tree because I've uh, picked up fish from there before when I had that mad session at the uh, end of the winter, sort of beginning of the spring. Um, yeah, when I had four out in one night and lost one, I think I did. Yeah. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's the plan. Right, time to get the gear out of the car.
Okay, well it's eight o'clock. That's them out there. I'm all baited up. Um, I had to have a good lead around actually because you know, the weed changes obviously from year to year where it grows. So I like to get a bearing of uh, where it's uh, where the weed is now. Um, yeah. Um, the left hand rod has gone out at uh, uh, 20 and a half wraps. Just off just this side of where the weed starts that runs to the bank and um, just to the left of um, some Canadian I mean the weed beyond it is, is, is silkweed and that but uh, the, the weed to the uh, right of it um, is uh, Canadian um, so that seemed a pretty good spot it's fairly clean you know when I was dragging back <coughs> um, and uh, I've put a fair bit of bait out there and spread it. Um, yeah, sort of a slightly bigger baited area because um, it's quite it's quite central. You know, just hoping to draw the fish in um, if there are any fish in the bay, which I know there are. I know there's a few. Um, but the uh, right hand rod, um, I didn't put as much bait out, um, and I was more accurate with that and just put it basically on the spot because um, finding the clear spots out there um, wasn't as easy and I think it's the smallest spot that I've got there um, so um, yeah I've just tended to put um, well, it's four spots in the end I think uh, pretty much on top of each other um, and that one is at uh, 21 reps I don't know if I said that uh, yeah, I'm quite confident really, given that I've seen fish in that corner. I mean, it will be just three or four of them. Um, and where I'm fishing, because it's I could, you know I couldn't fish right in the corner because it's uh, fairly weedy in there. But uh, yeah, I don't think I would have spooked them because I'm fishing a fair way away. But all they've got to do is make their way down that margin, and they'll come across my bait. So uh, yeah. I think I could be in with a chance um, and if I had to put money on it it'd be the right end rod so yeah but it's not easy when you've just got a slot in somewhere um, and tonight really I only had a choice of two swims I mean there were others but uh, they're generally not fancied on here uh, and I know that I haven't spoken to a couple of people since I got down here that uh, the fish are still coming out up the other end of the lake. So, yeah, but I'm just hoping that they... There's a few traps, well I know there's, you know, obviously those in the corner, but there's a few more just uh, hanging around in this bay, away from the angling pressure, and um, because it's on the wind, you know, be inclined to stay, stay in here. I think uh, I've made the best choice that I can. Tonight's session. So, yep, can't do any more. Right, I shall uh, hopefully see you before the morning. <laughs>
Oh no. <laughs> yes. Oh. We've got a tench. I don't know. Might be a tench. Okay, it was just coming up to 10 o'clock and that right hand rod went off. <coughs> 28 and three quarters. Okay, <laughs> you win. Back we go. Well, I wish I could do the lottery numbers like that. I mean, what is it that, uh, you know, when you get that feeling it's just going to happen? Um, could have done without the tench that uh, I caught, cool, but uh, they're both out there now, back out there. Uh, I was tempted to put some spots out, put some odd bait out, but um, someone's actually sat up in the other far corner, and it's only a small bay, really. So uh, I think I'll leave it. I mean, there's plenty of hemp pellet sweet corn and stuff uh, out there, which will uh, keep the fish there, or bring the fish in. So, uh, yeah, but it takes pretty quick, you know, and it's what, not even two hours. So, uh, yeah, who knows? It could be one of those nights. Right, well, uh, I did say I'd hope I'll see you during the night. Well, yeah, well, it is, so let's hope I'll see you again. In. It's uh, just coming up half five now. Uh, I've been up since about four. We had an invasion of geese coming into the bay. They were all squawking earlier this morning, but now that I'm awake, they've quietened down. <laughs> yeah. No bleeps or shows, really, uh, since I've been up or during the night. I think the plan is probably going to be to pack up about 10 and uh, give myself a couple of hours to mooch around the lake. So the old floater rod and mixers just to see if uh, I can find any. Did enjoy that floater session uh, the other week. probably the plan.
Well, it's nine o'clock now, uh, nothing happening out there. The uh, sun's going to break through, I think, so uh, I'm going to pack up, have a look around the lake. Well, nothing so far. Uh, I've only got the last few swims to look at. Um, everyone's pretty much gone, so uh, yeah, I don't think it fished too well last night. People were up early and off. Well, that's that then. Not a fish in sight. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that's an okay session, I think, in the end. A little bit of fish. So I don't think too much came out, if anything. So, uh, yeah, well pleased. Not sure if I'm going to be down for a midweek overnight or next week, but uh, whenever I am down next, I'll see you then. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, share the video, please. Keep the comments coming. And get out there in this beautiful weather and catch a whacker. Uh, I'll see you next time.